everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Manager 2. So last time we still haven't completed one race yet, and we've got three le races left on the calendar. Is there a chance we can finish any of those three Grand Prix? Maybe not, but we will have to wait and see. Now, before we go, do any of these three teams have any parts that are worth taking? Um, nothing internally. What about the externals? Roos, no. Lotus, yes, they've got an airbox and veins. Brabham. Yeah, so we can, we could try Brabham to get their veins. Oh no, oh no, I've already done something before. Okay, never mind. Scratch all, all I just said. Now just make sure they don't need... Okay, no, they're all fine. So anyway, let's get ready for the Spanish Grand Prix at Catalonia. Okay, here we are for the Spanish Grand Prix, and this and so let's get our guys out for a couple of laps and see how they do. Now this is now I like Catalonia like this. I don't like I personally don't like the hairpin they add down this section. I don't know why. I just feel like it just doesn't feel the same when they have the um, the chicane the chicane somewhere around here now. But it's a personal opinion thing. So, oh, taking a while to, uh, okay, 127, where's Col Carl's coming to the pits already, hang on, let me check this, look at the times are normal, okay, I was just a bit confused why I wasn't getting lap time, it's like they were passing the start finish line and not have a valid lap time set, that was a bit weird. Anyway, Siri Boatson's got more pace than Moreno. Collard two seconds slower than him, but Boatson is third. He's miles away from both McLaren. So let's okay, let's get them out for qualifying, where it's going to really matter. I'm going to move this out of the way. There we go. Okay, let's do or die because we need to get some good positions in. And just pray our electronics will hold up, though. With our luck speed, that's not going to happen anytime soon. The okay, Alan McNeish record lap record at 119. Both of their 120 and a 122 was from Collard. So, hmm. Okay, so Herbert and both the Russes are out. Um, both since eighth, Manuel Collard tenth. So that's actually that's actually not too bad of a session for Lige. So anyway, it's Garrett Berger and his teammates McNeish, then Prost, then both Benettons, both Jordans, Boatson, Martini, Collard, Mondina, Morbidelli, Nakajima, Alesi, Mahansel's low down the field. To both Brabham's, Patrice, both Leighton Houses, Meek Hacken, and both Dalaros are at the back of the grid. The Spanish Grand Prix is ready to go now. No one stalled their car. Still, it's intense. Will make sense by going to TV camera here. And okay. Oh yeah, Pedro Lamy replaces Capelli for Elise House also, but he's in twentieth, so don't know what we can do. Oh, Burger the penalty. It looks like oh, Lamy and Elise, Lamy and Elise were penalised, so they've dropped down the field. Poor Lacey's down the back, and Piero Fadara has already retired. Hang on, look at it. I've just clicked boats in here. Engine fine. What do you mean the engine's fine? It's been saying not good throughout the entire thing, and all of a sudden it's going to say it's fine. Schumacher's retired, and so is Cod. What's happened to Cod? Is it electronics? No, Cod spun off. Okay. So Schumacher called Morbidelli retired also. Jeez, it was so quickly. Just check this. I don't understand why it says engine fine. I mean, that makes no sense to me. Um, okay, uh, if that's the case, then... Oh, Per Luigi Martini's retired. Oh, Martini, you're doing so well for Minardi. Okay, at the front right now. Alan McNeish from Burger. Then Prost, Roberto Moreno's fourth, then both Jordans. Okay, so a bit of an interesting battle going on for the top four. Roberto Moreno, I'd say he's doing quite well for Benetton, even though he's only there for one race because PK is unwell. All right, we're coming to the pits on lap 22. Condition, engine's still fine. 
Now suspensions, um, is, well the rain's low down so must mean we might we might have a suspension problem. But anyway, we're coming to the pits in eight, so we're going to come out in twelfth, just behind. On the worst, oh, still a nine. It's okay. A McNeeshan Burger retired. A double retirement from McLaren at the same time. What's happened to them? They've both collided. Oh no. Uh, where is okay? There's boats in ninth. Where's eight? Who is in? Or oh, set? Or oh, we should probably look at. Six actually six six oh no no actually oh but Stefano Mondina is in six but just couldn't find Mondina for some reason yeah this is all fine what about the electronics actually should check electronics ninety three EMS ninety six so maybe there's a possibility. It will hold out. I'm not. I'm not. Hope. I'm not giving. I'm not sure that it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure it won't happen. But eh, if it does, that'd be good. And as you can see, we're about to come to the pits. We're too, well, we're a lap behind Mandina and everyone else six and upwards. So we're not going to catch them. Uh, Sean Lacey's right behind Boatson. Ah, hmm. uh, Pedro Lamy has retired. He was last of the runners, but then again, he's in a Leighton house, which isn't really. Well, it, it, it started the season so well, but it's just sort of going anonymous. Um, okay, Boatson, I think he's been. Able to... Oh no, he's might come ahead of a Lacey. That'd be quite good to see. Hang on. Where is a Lacey in eights? Oh, right behind. Oh, he's right behind Boatson. Right behind him. Oh dear. Very, very, very tense right now. We're five lap, well, four laps down, but that's not the before part. But Boatson's car has made this far. Are we actually going to finish our first race of the season? Uh, even though it's taken 13, no, 14 races to do it, to have one, at least one car finish a Grand Prix. But at the front, we can see Alien Prost is about to finish. The Grand Prix to win for Ferrari. Both join second and third. Nigel Mansell will finish fourth. Mondino will take fifth. And Roberto Moreno will finish the race in sixth place. We finished the race! Hallelujah! We've actually finished a Grand Prix. Well done to both of them for getting, getting that leash to the very end. But anyway, we may, have, we may score no point. McLaren have dominated this season. It's impossible to catch them. We won't buy a new chassis. But the fact we've actually finished a race. <laughs> Eric Comis plans to leave Leisure. Well, I'm not keeping Comis. Nearly the first win for Gasho. Barrowfield turned point, pulled to points because he not he went, he collided with his own teammate. All right, what's the update here? Eric Comis and Taki Inoue are going to Dalara. Okay. Leighton House, Goldman will, well, I don't know why. Ivan Capelli will be replaced by JJ Leto for Leighton House. Tyrrell, uh, getting that Jr. for another two seasons, but I think that was already there. Um, okay, Coulthard will be replaced by Mika Salo for test drive for two seasons. Lotus, they'll keep Johnny Harbour, I don't know what's going to happen to Hackenden. Brabham will keep Brundle. And Eddie Irvine for test driver. Minardi. Mark Blondell is going there. And they're keeping Gianni Morbidelli. George, oh, Alien Prost to Jordan. And Nelson Piquet to Jordan also. Now that's going to be a strong lineup, but will they have a, a competitive car? Jos Verstappen is also joining them. Williams. They're keeping, all, they're keeping the lineup the same. Ferrari. Burger and a Lacey, okay. Emmanuel Piro will be their test driver. Betton will get the series and Michael Schumacher. Mike Mika Hackman is gonna be a test driver there. And McLaren, no test driver, so okay. Okay, so this is quite interesting here actually. Okay, Capelli have four races, so it must mean Ayrton Senna is back and so is PK. Okay, but let's get on 
with Suzuka. Okay, here we are for the Japanese Grand Prix. Let's get our, our cars out. Okay, as you can see, both our, both cars are two, two and three seconds slow in ben, both Benetton's. And they're four and five seconds slower than Gerhard Berger. But anyway, let's get on with the qualifying where it's going to matter most. Okay, Boatson has crashed our qualifying and he hasn't set a lap time, so we're down one driver and we haven't even started the race. That is not good at all. Yep, Boatson removed off the list. But saying that, Collard actually qualified fourth. So Collard did all right. Only three cars didn't make the 107%. That's, well, four technically because Boatson's gone. Both the Russes and Johnny Herbert have, will not be taking part. So, but Emmanuel Collard fourth on the grid. Maybe he can do something, maybe not. Anyway, both McLaren, Ayrton Senna and Paul in his return. Prost is third, Collard fourth, both Williamses and PK and Lacey and Schumacher, both Jordans, Morbidelli, Leto, both Lane Houses, both Tyrrells, Martini, Piro, both Brabant and Mika Hacken are brings up the rear. Okay, let's do it this way. Who's going to stall? No one stalled, so we're still fourth on the grid. Let's go hope the car is in good neck and hopefully Collard can finish the race. I'm not hopeful that uh, that will happen, but I'm just hoping it will. But anyway, the Japanese Grand Prix is ready to go now. No one stalled their car. Let's make sense with the two camera here. Engine's fine. Okay, so don't have to worry about the engine now. I don't know why that's the case. Gasho and Morbidelli have retired already. Have they had an accident? They've both been involved in an accident. Okay, so they go so Menard and Jordan down one driver and they're quite and they're quite good drivers. But right now we're holding fourth. We're, we're, we're about a minute behind the front run we're over a minute behind Senneberger and Prost already and we're only six laps in, oh my words. Four, fifth, six. Yeah, we are holding up a massive dream. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, John Alacy is retired. What's happened to Alacy? Oh, he's in an accent, accent also. Oh dear. Are they going to be like injured that they won't be able to, to race? That would be, tra that would be tragic if that's the case. Now Leto and Martini have retired. Martin accident Leto collided. Lots of collisions happening at the at Suzuka. That is cra this is crazy. Alright, so the top three drivers are coming to the pets, but we are miles away. Many miles away. Now Ricard Patrice has retired. Okay, people behind us are petting. We haven't yet. We're still going. Uh, Schumacher is in fifth and Nakajima in sixth place for Tyrrell. Okay, good on Nakajima for that. 9.2 seconds, a quick pit stop. Yeah, we're being overtaken. We're going to be fourth down to, I think that's eighth place. Yeah, it is eighth place. Okay, where's ninth? Oh, Goldman's actually a bit away, so I'm surprised that... I might, that was a gap, a little bit of a gap between ourselves and Goldman. So I was expecting to go like down towards the bottom of the field, like lose a ridiculous amount of positions. Okay, so some, okay, something happened. I'm not really sure what happened. But anyway, Sen is in the lead. Oh, Goldman's retired. Garberg is second. Prost is third. PK fourth. Sirius is fifth, and Michael Schumacher is in sixth. We're behind Nigel Mansell. Nakajima has retired. Oh, but, oh, we were ahead of him anyway. What's the condition of Collard's car? Okay. Seems our car has decided to just magically work <laughs> for change. <laughs> okay, here comes Collard and Sepets from lap 38. Condition of the car. Still good. Even the engine's still in good nick. Okay, in comes Collard to the pits for 16 laps worth of fuel. Just to get to the end. Let's see where he is. There he is. And, oh, a lot of cars there. Okay. We're coming to the peasant eight, but looks like it 
Huh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna stick to eighth place, or we're gonna be down to ninth. No, no, we're ninth. Oh, Mandina over two, because I couldn't find Mandina's car, actually. Huh. I was trying to see who was in eighth, and I thought, oh, we were in eighth. So I thought, okay, I thought we were gonna come out in eighth, but no, nope, that's not the case. Mandina did pass us, and I didn't even realize it. But it looks like Ayrton Senna is about to finish the race with Alien Prost going to be in second. He's managed to get in between both McLarens. Berger will be in third. Then it'll be both Benetton's. And Sirius will be the last points finisher for Jordan. And we just noticed Pedro Lamy retired, but he was the last of the runners anyway. So it doesn't really make much difference. Okay, Garbar's going to pets again, but he's still going to get third place because he's I think about two laps ahead of PK. But anyway, and Prost coming the pets again, and PK's pitting again for some reason. But anyway, it's Senna from Prost and Berger. But look at that, we, we've, actually, we've actually managed to finish a second race in the route. Lamy had got involved in an accident. Oh, oh dear. We've still got no points, but to be honest, that's kind of irrelevant at this point. And, oh, boats and wrecked the chassis. Oh, I need to buy another one there if he's going to race. Like, level four. Okay, okay, and test turn to Daisy. Yeah, McLaren has the championship. Both since despite his lack of success and a dominant win for Ayrton Senna. I don't know if dominant is the right word. We did win at least. Okay, I thought someone else would be listed for injuries, but no. Okay, here we are for the Australian Grand Prix. If let's get boats in and card out there, and hopefully neither of them will destroy their cards. Uh, okay, Boats in 2 minutes 41. He's already passed the first, the start finish line, so he's uh, decided to do two whole laps to be a valid lap time. I'm not, I don't know if that's a, it's just seemed to be a weird glitch. Just come, you just go through and the, they do two full laps to make it one lap, stuff like that. But anyway, as you can see here, <laughs> we are many miles away from the Benetton and McLarens. 10 seconds behind Berger, 10 and 11 seconds respectively, oh jeez, so we are in dire trouble here, if we do this in qualifying we're definitely not going to make it to the race, okay let's get Boatson out, then we'll get Collard out, okay so Collard is not taking part and neither of the Roosters Boatson managed to get ninth. Okay, I was exp I thought Boatson would end up right down there with in the group of people who did make the hundred and seven percent. But he made ninth, so it's still alright, but annoyingly we don't have cards competing. Okay, so it's Senna, then PK, then Berger, then both Ferraris, Schumacher, both Williamses, Boatson, Morbidelli, Gasho, Goldman, Martini, Modina, Lame. Nakajima, Brundle, Sears, both D Dalaras, both Lotus and Blundell is at the back of the grid. The Australian Grand Prix is ready to go now. Okay, no one stalled their car. Let's make sense of this TV camera here. Engine's still fine. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the engines anymore. And it seems the electronics, they're working okay now. But it's taken a very long time to get a working car. And Martini and Goldman for Tyre, they've got involved in that, yeah, they collided. Okay, so Martini and Goldman are already out of the race. Boats in this drop down to 12th and still dropping. I think Nakajun's going to get past Boats. Oh, oh, I say Nakajun's just retired, but so is Mika Akinen. And then now JG Leto's turn to retire. Okay, we're only seven, we're about nine laps in and already we're getting a Law retirements in an 80 lap, 81 lap race. So then even Martin Brundle's out. His teammate Blundell. Brundle, Blundell, Brundle, Blundell. And Marbury Deli's retired. So Brundle, no, Blundell is last of the runners now already. Look at that. We're down to 15 cars already. And Lacey's the first person to pit. Oh dear. And Boatson's retired. What's happened to Boatson? Steer, steering problem. Okay, we need to get a better steering wheel for next season then. But anyway, so we end the first season with no points and no cars finishing the last race. But we finished two. We've had two cars finish out of a possible 32. Poor, poor record there. We had a 
but we had poor engine, just a poor car in general. So the fact we managed to finish any races at all, because I gave my hopes, I gave up my hopes that we'd even finish a race. I say, well, I'll say it'll be an achievement for Ligier. Okay, Gasho and Pedro Lamy have both retired at the same time. So I think we've been caught in a collision also. But anyway, got the pit stops going on here. Says leading, says Prost, then PK, Berger's fourth, Schumacher fifth, and Alacy's back in the points after pitting quite early. They pitted from, I think it was like fifth down to eighth. It was something like that. Uh, Senator from Prost and Berger, Schumacher, Piki and Alacy make up the top six. But is there going to be any dramatic last minute retirements? Yes, Nelson Piki has in fact retired. That's put Alacy in the fifth, Mansell's up to six. So Williams could score at least a point out of this race. And it's taking ages for Herbert and Blundell to get past P where PK uh, crashed out, crashed his car because they were so, they're both so far behind because they've got, literally they don't really have that much pace at all. Uh, Blundell's retired. Well, was, and there we go. And Sirius is retired, but I don't think Joey Harbour's going to overtake Sirius's point. Not, it's not enough time for that because Senna's about to finish the race in first place. Burger's coming out of the pit. At least he, Despite his free stuff strategies, he's going to finish in fourth place. So, so at least he surprised me there because explains not finished points. But anyway, Senna from Prost from Schumacher. Piki spinning off, Flandel spun off, Gasho in the fourth in an accident. Oh dear. Okay, but anyway, we finished the season with no points, but we have at least finished two races. McLaren tight for tight. First place with Prost. Okay. So we had two people win the championship together. There's Collard and there's Boatswain's cars. And there's Eric Comas who was only there for one race until he decided no. Nah. So Bur so Prost and Berger both won the check both got equal amount of points. So who wins it then? And then we had so basically First, third, and fourth for McLaren in the driver's championship. <laughs> and the constructors, yeah, we finished 11th. So, but McLaren, easy, easy win for them. Nearly doubled the points of Ferrari, who got second. But anyway, next season, hopefully, we can do better than what we have done. You can Honda, so can we interlock with Imola. Nuremberg, Montreal, Ida. Magnicor, Silverstone, Hockenheim, Hungaroring, Spa, Monza, Monza, SRL, Catalonia, Suzuka, Melbourne, Salice, so Mugen Honda. We're gonna get the, we'll get the best fuel. We want best tires, Dunlop tires, best spares, that's a must. Security, who's got Brabham Lotus in the roof? So I've just gone for They've just gone for a downgrade. Very can't accept this price at the moment. What about champion then? Okay, fine. How about ten thousand one? Oh, okay. All right then. We'll have it for eleven thousand then. Fine. Okay, so our gear is all five fuel. Yes, yes. Okay. Monte Carlo Adelaide will be replaced by Nürburgring and Melbourne. Monte Carlo being not on the calendar. That's controversial, I'd say, because it's quite good. It's good track, I'd say. Band steerings can be used. They band the automatic gears. Cooling system, limited. Steering system, limited. Veins, limited also. And we won't buy a new chassis for that car yet. Yeah. Security firms improving. Uh, development tire. Tires, change venues, rule changes, McLaren won the title, Alien Prost wins the championship. I don't know about that because he tied with um, Berger, so I don't necessarily agree with this. I, I don't really know, to be honest. I didn't keep track of how many races each other won. Don't for Senna. See, look at it. It says Berger won the championship also, so uh, Giovanni Lavaghi retires. I don't know who that is. Okay, so we've lost three million there, so oh dear. 
Okay, okay. Yep. Another year rolls by for Ligier. So Kilami for the South African Grand Prix. Injured drivers, none. So let's get a pay driver. 500,000, 1 million, 500,000, 5.3 million, 5.5 million. Okay, so we get Uku Katayama then. Oh, Barry Kelly there. Okay, we get Katayama for 5.5 million. Yes, so we can get a bit of money from Katayama. Okay, but hey, before we go, let's look at the teams. McLaren, Senna, Perluigi Martini, and McNeish the test driver again. But Perluigi Martini going for McLaren, that's a good move for Perluigi. And then we have Benetton, De Sears, Schumacher, and Hakkinen. Okay, that's quite, I say that's quite an interesting choice. I mean, giving Michael Schumacher definitely a good, good decision. But having Sears is, is, instead of PK, well, because PK's going to another team, I'm just finding it quite interesting. And Mika Hakkinen's the test driver. I don't know if that's a good idea to do that, but I don't know. Garrett Berger Ferrari with Sean Alesi, which is a very, very strong lineup in general, and Piero is the test driver. Okay. Williams, Mansell, and Patrice with Damon Hill as the test driver. Okay. Jordan with Alien Pross and Pico. Now this is a very, very strong lineup for Jordan. And Bertrand Gasho, a test driver. I don't think I, I don't think that's a good idea in general, but okay. Minardi has Blundell and Morbidelli and Jos Verstappen as the test driver. Blundell going to Minardi. Very good move for him. Brabham. Brundell and David Coulthard is going to be driving and Eddie Irvine is the test driver. So David Coulthard will finally get to race. That's good to see. Lotus having Johnny Harper and Julian Bailey. And Pedro Lamy is their test driver. Okay, I think that's quite good for them. The Ruth gets Beretta as a dry, racing driver number one and Bernard driver number two. And Suzuki has been downgraded to a test driver. Okay. Terrell has Noda as driver number one. Look at those stats of Noda though. Nakajima is driver number two. So we have an old Japanese lineup. And Volka Weedler? Weidler? If I'm pronouncing this wrong, guys, I do apologize. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. Leighton House. Bamodo. Look at those stats again. For Leighton House. And we have Goldman. Now, I would have put JC Leto star number one and uh, Bamodo as a uh, test driver, not the other way around. That's the part I would do. All right, Dalara has Eric Comis and Oliver Gavin. And Montemini will be their test driver. Okay, so some quite fascinating things we've seen here. But anyway, let's look at the engines before we go. Okay, Lee, um, Williams with a Renault engine, which seems to be quite powerful. Benetton, considerably weaker than Williams, but still a, say, an alright engine. Tyrrell using pretty much the um, kind of same engine, but it's heavy, 20 kilograms heavier. Brabham. 670, so Brabham got not not a very good engine. Very low quality also. In fact, that's the engine that we just used. We use that engine now. Uh, Brabham are going to use that, that engine. Ferrari. They're using Ferrari engine, of course. Leighton House. And Ilmore. With a 1, 2, 3 kilograms. No one's using a Porsche engine. Which is supposed to be even worse. And okay, Judd, who's using the Judge engine as Dalara, which is not very powerful. Lotus, not a powerful engine at all. McLaren, got the best on the grid. Jordan, not really that good. LaRousse, very, very um, weak engine, but still very good in quality. Minardi, I, okay, Minardi's still using a Ferrari engine. Uh, oh, their engine is 10 kilograms lighter than ours, but we still. I still think we've got a good lineup, and I think we've got some good engines now. We've got better engines. 
So we just got to try and worry about the gremlins that is our electrical system and our steering. But anyway, I'm going to end this right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And hopefully for the second season of the Nano Mod, we will actually finish more races. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye! Be nice with you.